Fixed versus a growth mindset. Hey guys, Alex here. So today I wanna to talk to you about having a growth mindset and actually why a fixed mindset is so destructive as a leader into a business. Now, when you have a fixed mindset, what's going on is that you're actually, you believe that this is the best you're ever gonna get, that you can't improve your skills, your abilities, your intelligence. Now, sit in that for a moment. When you're feeling that way, are you actually going to put yourself in the path of potential failure? Are you gonna put yourself in a situation where you might not look the smartest in the room? Aren't you going to start to feel threatened instead by any situation or person or opportunity where you can't totally craft the outcome? Now, this is a really negative and exhausting place to be. And you can see why that mindset as a leader means that you will never take the necessary risks or make the necessary decisions that you need to to keep your business moving forward. Now, having a growth mindset uh, instead means that your attitude is that you can always improve your abilities, skills, and intelligent levels. And there's heaps of scientific evidence now around brain plasticity that says absolutely we can. So people with a growth mindset totally believe that with practice, perseverance, and the right attitude that they can absolutely build new skills. Now, doesn't that feel lighter? Don't you feel like, wow, that's pretty cool. And you become more curious. So that's how the shift between a fixed and a growth mindset really, really has a big impact on our teams and our business performance. Now, I certainly have been on this journey myself. And when I reflect on my career and people ask me, you know, how did you plan out your career and, and how far you got? Well, I actually didn't have a linear plan. But the thing that I realize I've always done is be very open to opportunities, be very curious, and throw myself into things when I don't have all the answers and just look to get the best people around me. So here are some tips for you to really develop that growth mindset. First things first, stop talking about failure. Language is important, right? So instead of saying failure, Think of it as a learning experience or a learning opportunity. So replace failure with learning. The second thing is I want you to really think about being more curious. What if we tried this? Then actually brainstorm what's the best thing that could happen, what's the worst thing that could happen, and then what's the most likely thing to happen. By just going through that simple process, you're placing um, less importance on the worst case scenario. You're kind of acknowledging that, hey, we don't know what's gonna happen, but let's roll with it anyway. The third great tip is to do this with a team. So take risks together. This is not just about you having to have all the answers and looking like an idiot if something doesn't come off. So engage your team in how you can learn, grow and be curious together and then do some really simple things like a half hour or a one hour bit of a retrospective meeting when you've tried something and actually examine what you learn, what you do differently, what you're gonna do next time and set that next goal. So if you try doing some of these things, you will start to develop this growth mindset really quickly. And guys, it is so much the better place to be in terms of feeling happy, curious, and you'll be a far more effective leader. Thanks for watching Trampoline on YouTube. And if you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For great daily content and leadership insights, as well as a proven plan that will yield exponential results, be sure to download the High Performance Leadership app.